Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Wakana Man at YouTube with a, another modeling video. This will just be a little uh, quick uh, tutorial suggestion on giving that little extra edge definition and interest in your model that will give it a slightly higher cut comparing your customs to others, personal enjoyment or competing in a competition. Uh, with the injection mold process, uh, details such as antennas and uh, V-fins on Gundams can be very uh, chunky and almost uh, toy-like. Uh, you can notice on the head here it's uh, very round and just overpowering and bearing on this uh, Gundam X uh, face. We're going to shave uh, a little material off and just make the very tops pointy. You'll not need much in the way of uh, tools. Uh, your standard lot of uh, sanding file, sandpaper, hobby knife and side cutters is a very good start. Though anything more advanced such as a grinding wheel or a dremel will speed up the job a lot. First uh, there's these um, large catchments or bulbs at the uh, back of the point. We're just going to uh, remove those and sand it back to a absolute flat back. Like so, showing the uh, back, we've got a perfectly uh, flat back with the peg to stick in the head. This will help us uh, take down the whole profile of the actual uh, fin itself. At this stage, and you can use a file, I'm just using a uh, Dremel, we're going to make the higher piece of the V-pin itself uh, thinner and starting to lead the whole piece into a tip but not doing that quite yet. The bottom bulb bit is also going to be flattened significantly so the whole feature is not looking too fat on the uh, face. Take it very slowly and making sure both uh, halves are absolute uh, even, not having one too short or removing too much material. A file can be employed uh, later. Once you're very happy with the uh, two lengths from filing and uh, dremeling, we're able to bring a sharp tip by sharpening the ends with a hobby knife like so. If you wish to do finer profile work, ever so slightly rubbing your blade up against the uh, length can uh, make the piece more shallow or sharper in other regards. We can't do the whole process with a knife as you'll be just cutting chunks of uh, plastic out. Do this very slowly. Finish the process by fine grit sanding the whole area to remove any imperfections or scratches. Now, overall, on my finished model, the V-fin does not look that much different from the original plastic one at first glance. A closer look, it is uh, more suitable and nicely fitting on the head. It protrudes far too much out and covers the eyes, which is a problem with the kit itself, but in the end, a finish that I'm very, very happy with. I made a small mistake. I think um, one of the V-fins is a fourth of a millimeter um, longer than the other, but it's not really noticeable by uh, eye. I uh, airbrushed and it's had a weathering to get that lovely uh, line across the uh, top bit of it. Uh, this is the sort of uh, finish you would like to uh, generally go for. My general tip in modifying the V-fin um, for your high grades, which are very brittle, uh, if they're too long, just sharpen the absolute uh, tip and sand it down. If they're a lot fatter than this one, you can go all out with uh, files and dremels and uh, whatnot, but try not to make it uh, too skinny, as if your model kit falls over or snags, the V-fin is definitely going to break off. The beautiful thing of this uh, style of modification is we're given way too much uh, material and we can shape it and sand it back to whatever we uh, desire. They're fantastic. Unfortunately, if you make a mistake and if you're carving with a knife for the whole time and cut out a chunk or cut off too much, it's near impossible to apply a putty and uh, repair that mistake. So most importantly, go very slow. If you're not comfortable with fast tools, use low grit slow tools, a file, a sanding stick, and take your time to shape it exactly how you like it. If your V-fin breaks or you don't like it, 
No problems. Bandai is selling a pack of aftermarket V-fins that are already pre-shaped and uh, sharpened. And feel free to mix up V-fins among uh, different kits, paint them differently or detail them ever so slightly differently. Uh, they look quite nice and it's a rewarding process even though it's a tiny feature of a kit. It's uh, a big symbol of uh, the Gundam. All in all, thank you very much for watching and of course until next time stay tuned for more uh, reviews, tutorials and other modeling content on this channel. Leave a comment if you got any ideas, suggestions and catch you guys next time.